Hey everybody, Scott Sprintzer here, DocSports.com. It is Friday, March 15th, 2019. Got a free pick in college tourney action coming up in just a moment. First, a quick note, if you're new to these videos, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, real cool way to give it a trial run. Click on the link below this video, get set up for a free $60 account, and you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. Again, you click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account. Think you'd be glad that you did. Uh, we're coming off a sweep last night with our premium picks. We went 4-0. Uh, very nice night, including a couple of real easy college basketball winners with Marquette and the Iowa Hawkeyes. Iowa was a six-star play, Marquette a four-star play, both cashed handily. And uh, boy, those are the days we like. And listen, this has not been a great college basketball season for me. No two ways about it. Uh, we come into this uh, March 18 winning years, seven losing years. And I'm talking about entire college basketball seasons for the last 25 years. And uh, we knew we needed a strong run, big time strong run in college basketball conference tourney action and also the big dance coming up in just a bit to get back it up and over the hump. And uh, right now, as we head into Friday, we are 67% against the spread with our college basketball conference tourneys. Now, the last 21 years, we've had 16 winning years when it comes to college basketball conference tourneys, the big dance, all the small, uh, I should say smaller uh, tourneys also that go on after these conference tourneys mat, uh, uh, finish up. And anyway, but 16-5 uh, and five winning years run off to a 67% winning start with our college basketball conference tourneys. And uh, last night, the big 2-0 with college basketball. We went 4-0 overalls. We cashed in both the NBA and the NHL. And uh, that makes us now 5-1 the last two days in college basketball conference tournament action. We've got a couple more plays going on Friday. They're going to be posted at DocSports.com, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. I've got two plays right now, another six-unit play, a four-unit play. Those six units, those are big plays, top elite plays for us. And uh, we've got those two for sure for Friday. We might have a couple more uh, by the time 11.30 a.m. Eastern rolls around. Got to sit and wait for some of these lines to come out. But the two games we're already involved in, we've got the lines. We know where they're going to be. And uh, they're already posted. And we'll be involved in both of those games. Again, a six-unit and a four-unit at the very least on Friday in college basketball. We look to stay red hot at the conference tourneys. As mentioned, 67% against the spread so far. College basketball conference tournament action. So if you went and grabbed... That discounted package for the college basketball attorneys, the big dance, the smaller attorneys for $299, you're already at a 67% winning clip. We look to go to 17-5 and five winning years with March conference attorneys and, of course, the big dance. So, anyway, that's what's going on in college basketball on Friday. To get those plays available Friday morning, 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific, you'll want to be part of that. And also we have NBA going on Friday, one play in the NBA I think it's going to be a Friday night blowout that we're going to be able to enjoy and put in the win column. We won again last night in the NBA. As far as the NHL, we do have one play. It's posted right now over at DocSports.com. It'll be available on Friday morning to you. And, uh, of course, uh, last night a nice win with the Islanders. We come back on Friday with the power play in the NHL. One play on Friday night's ice slate. Listen, I wanted to uh, answer a few questions from Twitter from the DMs. Uh, we will have NASCAR again this week. We posted our first to win bets of the NASCAR season last week as we bring NASCAR to DocSports.com. We cashed with Kyle Busch. We picked up a few units. Uh, my NASCAR plays for this Sunday's race in Fontana will be posted on Friday night, and that'll be after 11 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Pacific over at DocSports.com. So listen, even if you don't like NASCAR, if you like making money, we've been doing this now for some 22 years, betting NASCAR, and uh, we're off to a winning start last week, and we were, we'll have more to win picks uh, for this week's race in Fontana. As far as the AAF is concerned, we're 3-0 so far this season. We'll have that play posted Saturday morning. We'll also have our UFC, uh, which goes on Saturday. We'll have that posted Saturday morning also in time to take advantage of uh, with those fights being uh, taking place over in London. So, that's what's going on. We wanted to answer those questions about when the AAF would be released, when the UFC would be released, when NASCAR would be released, and there you have it. NASCAR Friday night, Saturday morning for both UFC and AAF action, and of course, every morning, college basketball, NBA, and the NHL. And don't forget about baseball, guys. It starts on the 20th. We probably won't be involved uh, with the two games in Japan, but 
if we do get involved, you're going to be able to get them for free here on the videos because I'm going to tell you who I like in those two games, whether they be an opinion or whether they be a, a personal service type of play. We'll definitely let you know about it on those two games uh, when the time comes. And, of course, everybody else in baseball gets involved on March 28th. We'll be involved like everybody else. 67% or 66% is what we hit over the final three months of baseball last year, and we garnered over $7,000 for those wagering just $100 per unit. So go check out the baseball package today, man. You get a nice price on the upcoming baseball season. That is for sure. All right, let's get to our free pick for Friday's card. We're going to turn to the Big Ten. We're going to lay the points with Wisconsin, 7.5 over Nebraska. They've gone up a half a point to 7.5 uh, so far this early morning as we head closer and closer to Don. I'm up late, as you know by now, handicapping all the games every single night. And we look to get back in the win column, by the way, with our free picks. We've been down uh, this week, but we look to bounce back. The premium picks been really good on the tourneys, but we got to get a free pick winner here after dropping one last night. One of the reasons we like Wisconsin, and we played, we didn't play Nebraska yesterday, we didn't play against them either. Uh, but here's the the issue is, you know, we, we've talked about this. They have no depth. Even when they didn't have the injury to Isaiah Copeland uh, and a couple of other players and one player being suspended, they had no bench depth for the most part, uh, even when they were winning games. Then they had that terrible run. What were they, 2-11 and 11 or something like that? And uh, it looked like they were ready to fold the tent, give up on 10 miles. He was all but out of Lincoln, going to have to be looking for a new gig. Uh, there was a lot of rumors about who might be the next coach in Lincoln. I don't think. Uh, that they would have got the guy they wanted the most, which was Floyd. I don't think they would have got him. Uh, but it's a situation where they were basically looking as though they might be having to search for a new coach with Nebraska basketball. That still might happen after this season is over. But i got to tell you, as much as Tim Miles can drive you crazy sometimes, he hasn't had a lot of breaks this year. This team has no depth, as we mentioned. A couple more starters out. One got suspended. One got injured. The injured uh, starter might come back. Uh, for this game is listed as questionable. But just look at what they got right now. I mean, it's basically a five-man rotation. I know they're using six and seven guys, but not getting a lot of production out of those guys. You look at guys like uh, Isaiah Roby, James Palmer Jr., Glenn Watson Jr. These guys are playing a ton of minutes. In fact, Watson and Palmer have both played the entire 40 minutes in each of the two conference tournament games. For, so far, two days, 80 minutes of basketball, Watson and Palmer have each played all 80 minutes in the first two games of the tournament. Then you look back to a game on March 10th. So they're going to be playing basically with no depth. What did that be? Four games since March 10th. It's now March 15th. And that game went to overtime. It went over the Iowa Hawkeyes. So remember when Iowa blew it in the final 45 seconds of regulation. But you've got in those games where Watson played another 42 out of 45 minutes. The game went to overtime. Palmer played 39 out of 45 minutes. So right now, as we speak, just since March 10th, three games going into Friday, Watson has played 122 out of 125 minutes. Palmer, 119 out of 125 minutes. Throw Isaiah Roby into the mix. He's played 76 of the 80 minutes played in the last two days. And you're talking about a team that's playing on adrenaline right now. But if they fall behind, and they have bad matchups against Wisconsin, if they fall behind, you have to think the Badgers will likely pull away in this game and get that cover. If you look at what happened in this year's meeting when Wisconsin won by 11 in Lincoln, Nebraska, the top three players, Isaiah Roby, uh, Palmer, Watson, Wisconsin just had the defensive matchups to shut these guys down. Nebraska went, tw or those three players for Nebraska went 12 for 42, including just two for 14 from the three-point line. It's going to be tough. Wisconsin gets in your face on defense, the style they play. You'll see them drop off a little bit. You'll see them come up in their jerseys. And Nebraska didn't handle it well just a few weeks ago. And I think with all these minutes long, I know they're young guys. I know the adrenaline's flowing. They've been focused the last couple of games. But again, I think that all that, not just the minutes played is going to add up, but also the fact that they just don't match up well with Wisconsin is going to come back to hurt him here. Uh, and by the way, Borkhart, I mean, look at him yesterday for Nebraska. He comes out, he grabs nine rebounds, plays about 26, 27 minutes in the win over the Maryland Terrapins. Talking about a guy that averaged about uh, three points and four rebounds per game during the course of the regular season, played about 17, 18 minutes per game. Uh, so give him credit. But he did get into foul trouble, and I think he'll get into foul trouble again here if he's forced to play 25 to 30 minutes, which in all likelihood 
uh, he will have to. So we're going to back Wisconsin as the free opinion. They're laying seven and a half over Nebraska. That game, by the way, about 3 p.m. Eastern, 12 noon Pacific time. Don't forget about what's going on Friday over at DocSports.com. We swept yesterday, 67% so far in the college basketball conference tournaments. I've got at least two college basketball plays for Friday, both released on Friday morning. And again, we'll check those numbers again when they're posted on the other games that don't have a line right now. We'll check those about 10 a.m. Eastern time on Friday. And then, of course, the picks will be posted by 11.30 a.m. Eastern time. You can go grab them, and we'll have at least one six unit, at least one four unit, possibly a couple more when the lines come out, but two for sure. And then, of course, the NBA and the NHL. All right, guys, uh, hope you like these videos. If you do, be sure to click on the thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. We appreciate all of you who have done so thus far. Positive remarks, negative remarks, we like them all. Uh, keep sending them in, and uh, we'll start answering a few more of those as we get uh, into baseball season. In fact, real quick, I wanted to mention uh, that myself and probably Alan Harris, maybe Indian Cowboy, we're going to have probably twice a week, we're going to have nice, long 20 to 30 minute podcast and videos talking just about what's going on in baseball every week this season. So be sure to check that out. Also more information coming out on that over the next week. All right, I'm Scott Spritzer. Let's put Friday in the wind column. Let's make it two sweeps in two days. Friday in the wind column. We'll be right back here Saturday morning, 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific with our next report. And uh, I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Friday in the wind column. Talk to you Saturday morning.